Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new, my name is Katie Marie and I'm currently on my debt-free journey. So I have the window open. Um, so if you hear any background noise, cars, birds, dogs, that's why. So today I'm going to be doing my first weekly check-in for Friday, May 1st through Saturday, May 9th. So as you guys know, if you guys have seen videos of mine. I do use my Target $5 dollar spot Choose Happy Notebook and I keep all of my transactions listed in here but I do have a new way I'm going to be doing my weekly check-in which is through this weekly check-in like setup. Um, this is my first month doing it so if you guys have any tips or tricks please let me know in the down bar to make my life a little bit easier but yeah let's get started. So I have everything pre-written out to save some time. I have my planning dancer expense trackers, labels here, and my Remina Rosa No Spend stickers. So let's start. So Friday, May 1st was a no spend. So we starting off May good, but I don't think it is going to stay like this. Then we move to um, Saturday, May 2nd, which was actually an unbudgeted. Um, me and my boyfriend went to go get an oil change, but since he was currently on unemployment, his debit card would not work there, so I had to pay for his oil change. He did pay me back for this in cash, so I have to deposit it back into my account, but unfortunately this is, is unbudgeted because I did not know that that was going to happen. So an oil change for his truck. And I think they had to do some other like fluid changes. It ended up being 183.82. Okay, then we go into, oh, we also have one more expense on the second and that was Amazon for $26.33. So that is under my spending category. Okay, so May 2nd is done. Let's go to May 3rd, which was a Grove collaborative order. So I made an order for that and that was $40.20. So I put that under spending. So we'll put this down and that was on Sunday the 3rd. Okay, is there anything else? No, okay. Then we go into Sunday as well and I did my groceries at Pack and Save for $149.99, which is crazy because I normally budget 150. So the fact that I was legitimately one cent under is pretty fantastic to me. Okay, then we go to the fourth which was a no spend. Then we go to the fifth, which is a no spend as well. Then we go to the sixth, which was a Rite Aid run for $14.36. Okay, then we move to the seventh, which was a no spend. I also had a day off this day. The eighth was a purchase of two. I ordered something on Amazon and then I ordered a gift for my niece through a website called lifelikepillows.com. It's actually pretty cool. So you pick a photo from your phone gallery on your cell phone and you upload it to their site and they're able to create it into a pillow for them. Her and her cat, which recently passed away on the 8th, uh, the first week of May was like really hit hard. We had two passings. 
Um, so we lost our cat and my also my grandmother. So I'm kind of late filming videos and getting videos up and editing videos. So I do apologize for that. So I just thought I'd get her a pillow of him and her so they can still cuddle together without him. Act you know what I mean? It's not the same, but I thought maybe it'll help her cope with the loss. So that was on the 8th. So the first one was Amazon. And then Lifelike Pillow. And they're normally like 50 bucks, but they were having a 50% off sale since it was Mother's Day. So I got it at a pretty good time. I mean, it was an unfortunate time, but it was a good time um, because I was able to get it with shipping and everything for only $27.48. Then we go to the 9th, which is Saturday, which is the last day of our weekly check-in. And that one is a no spend. So now let's go to this page, which is the weekly check-in page. So unfortunately I do have an emergency slash unbudgeted and that was a total of 183.82. So 183.82. And then total remaining is nothing because I didn't have any. And remaining per week is nothing because I don't normally budget for unbudgeted. Um, but I do want to keep track of it. So the next is groceries. And groceries was... 149.99 total remaining was a whopping one cent um and then total per week 101 okay sinking funds we had nothing for sinking funds so dash okay now we go into spending so spending i spent Let's see, let's add up my spending on my calculator. So, spending is the blue stickers. So we had one on the second for $26.33. We had one on the third for $40.20. We had one on the sixth for $14.36. We had two on the eighth for $27.48 plus $26.29, which totals $138.66, which that puts me over budget. So I spent $138.66, total remaining zero, and remaining per week zero. So I'm actually under budget for spending of $38.66. So yeah, that was it for that. I'm pretty sure I calculated everything. I have the unbudgeted, I have the grocery, the sinking funds. I didn't use any money from my sinking funds and spending I calculated. That was everything for this weekly check-in. If you guys enjoyed, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe, turn on your post notifications. And I also made an Instagram. So if you guys are interested in following my Instagram, it's Katie Marie YT. So if you guys are interested in following that. Um, so I just created that just a few days ago. So there's only like two posts up there right now. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you on the next weekly check-in. Bye.